you are probably looking at my board and wondering what is that crazy stuff that he has written on that board well this crazy stuff you are seeing here is what you're supposed to go through or it is the expenses you're supposed to meet in your ORE journey and I'm sure it might not be making sense right now but I promise you it's going to make sense Hi, if you're seeing my handsome black face for the first time, my name is Dr. Emmanuel. And today, as I promised you in my previous video, that I was going to make a video that is going to detail all the costs of ORE exam right before application up to the time you are registered to practice in the UK as a dentist. So this is it. I promise you all of this is going to make sense. So just follow with me until the very end. So now what you are going to do is just to put the cost of this. I'm going to try as best as I can and I'm going to put the figures which are accurate at the time of recording this video. So the prices may change or the cost may change but right now this is the cost. So let's get right into it. The NARIC certificate. We know what that is. That is a compatibility certificate that indicates that your BDS is equivalent to UK BDS. You get it from NARIC. So that one goes for 50 pounds. Yes. Okay, it is 49 point something something, but let's just say it is 50 pounds for easy mathematics. Because I want us to see the total at the end of the day. How much is this ORE actually costing? By the way, if you are watching this video and you know anybody else who is planning to go through this journey, you will do them a favor by sharing this video with them because this information is what is going to help them to prepare adequately. And as you know, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. For armed? No, it is for wound. For armed. Okay, let's continue. Eyelet academic version. How much is Eyelet academic version? Eyelet academic version, depending on where you are, it is anything from this one is in dollars two hundred and fifty to about three hundred and ten US dollars. Notarization. Notarization, as I mentioned in my previous video, the GDC does not accept certified documents by your university. Well, they can certify, but they insist on notarized copies. Notarization means that your documents are certified by a public notary, and they have to write the words, this is a true copy of the original. Without those words, the document will be rejected. So, notarization, uh, I don't know how much it is in your country. If you notarize from your country, it is definitely cheaper. But if you come and notarize in the UK, it's about 200 pounds. My recommendation is that you should notarize these documents from your own country. Translation. If your document is not in English, you have to translate into English. This one also depends on the translation agency that you are going to use. So, you will find out. But these are all the costs you have to put in mind so that you prepare adequately. Even though I don't have figures for some of them, but this entire list of items that are going to cost you is very important in ensuring that you submit a complete application. So once you have this done, and hopefully you have your clinical hours, that's what I did indicate here because clinical hours, you don't pay for them. Clinical hours, 1600 of them, of relevant experience, verifiable, you have this, then you are ready to apply. Now, as of 16, 6th March 2024, an announcement was made by the GTC introducing an application fee for ORE 
before you even download the application form. And it is effective 9th March 2024. So how much is this fee? Let's just jump into my phone here and we see together how much the fee is. So let me just check here. Application fees. Okay, here we go. This is from the official GDC website. So let's scroll down here. As you can see, here is the amount. It is 96 pounds. And read here, you will need, okay. After this, as you have seen 96 uh, pounds here. So here is the point. You will need, let me highlight this. You will need to pay this fee before down before you can download the full ORE application form. Are we together? You have to pay the fee, the 96 pounds, before you even download the application form. Previously, that was not the case. You would just download and submit, you wait to pay for the ORE. Okay, let's move on. So, now that one we have seen, it is 96 pounds. Postage fees, this one will depend on your country where you're posting from and your service provider. So, but it is also a cost you have to bear in mind. Then we come to ORE 1 and ORE 2 and then medical emergencies when you repeat. So, I recently received an email from the GDC talking exactly about this. So let's just jump into my email and then we I'll see what it says. The GDC email here it says, as you can read updates on registration for those who qualified outside the UK. So uh, first they start by talking about we have increased, tripled the number of ORE places. We have increased the capacity on ORE part two, invited evidence, uh, blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, you can read it. Maybe it is in the, G in the website, but I received this on my email. I received it on 12th March. So, uh, but I'm sure it should be in their website. And then our part of interest is this one. Examination fees are set to change as follows. Okay, we have all been knowing that part one was, it was 806 pounds. Now, it is going to 584 pounds. Yes, but before you, before you celebrate, let's continue. Yeah, this is significant. This is a significant reduction. As you can see, it's a reduction of 225 pounds or 28 percent. But is that uh, enough to celebrate? Let's move on. Let's see ORE2. It will now be 4,235 pounds, an increase of 1,306 pounds there they have us this one previously as you know was 29 pounds now it's going to be four two three five pounds four thousand two hundred and thirty five pounds that is an increase of as indicated here, an increase of 1,306.045%. Okay, and then they go ahead to talk about retakes in medical emergencies. As you must be knowing, this is one of the areas that disturbs a lot of candidates. So they know that people tend to fail this part. So what have they done? They have increased the cost of retaking that part of the exam. So let's get back into my phone. So the retakes for medical emergency will be 
566 pounds. Previously, it was 300 pounds. Now it is going to be 566. An increment of 32%. Okay. So once you are done with that, so then we have preparatory courses and equipment. You need at least for ORE 1, the preparatory course, you need at least, at the very least, 300 pounds. But it could cost you more. And for ORE 2, preparatory courses go for at least 1,500 pounds. Okay? 1,500 pounds. For equipment, for RE1, you probably don't need. But for this, the very basic equipment that you need for your minimal preparation, if you are to stand a chance, will cost you not less than 1,000 pounds. Okay? Then now we have this. To check the visa fees, the visa fees of course, these ones may also change, but let's first check the current one from my phone here. Especially for the visa that we need, the visitor visa. Visitor visa fees, right? This is GOV, that UK. So, standard visitor visa. So, here are the fees. Standard visitor visa is 115 pounds for six months but i wouldn't recommend that you take for six months because the gpc recommends that you should book exams after securing your visa so if you get for six months and you miss a booking that means that your visa is going to expire before you actually use it so i would recommend that you take the two-year visa so let's check how much is the two-year visa Okay, we are back. So, two year long term standard visitor visa is 400 pounds. Yeah. So, I think we can write that here also. Visa here, 400 pounds. And, and then the tickets, that is a cost you have to consider because tickets depends on which airline, the time of your booking, the class you are flying, but it is a cost associated. So you can put your own figures there and tell me how much it is. So London expenses. Of course, you know you are going to eat, you are going to travel to the examination uh, and things like that. You need where to sleep. So my own personal recommendation is that at the very least, you should have at least 1,000 pounds for each month you are planning to spend in London. But this is really on a shoestring budget. 1,500 would be more recommended. 1,500 pounds for each month that you are planning to spend in London. Okay, then you can put some extra. This one I will need for you to add. Because you cannot go there to exams and come back. Really? You have to visit some places, some sightseeing, yeah, some little kind of tourism. But of course that also costs money in movement and eating and things like that. And then, finally, we have the registration application fees and then the registration fees for the registration itself. So for, for this, you can also hop back in my phone and we see what it is actually from the official website of the GDC. But before we do that, first tell me, what stage are you in this journey? Are you at the beginning? Are you somewhere in the middle or you are already through? And if you are already through, please let me know in the comment section. Was it worth it? Is it really worth it? Or those who have not started should just forget about it because this is ridiculous. Anyway, let me know in the comment section. 
Another thing is that if you don't know how to get these links of the visa and uh, where to see these costs, I'm going to leave a link in the comment section so you can go. In fact, this link will also lead you to a place where you can easily apply for your visa. So let's hop back in my phone and conclude this video. Okay, let's check on this. Then we see. Okay, okay, okay. So the application fees, this one. Don't confuse this with the registration fees. This is apply to get registered. For that, you pay uh, just here. Why is it not highlighting? Okay, there. That is 6.33 pounds. Then let's look at how much is it actually to get registered. This is again the official website of the GTC. So we scroll and see here registration as a UK qualified dentist, dental care professional, DCP, additional titles, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here, GDC registration fees. Okay. The registration fee is the fee you pay to enter, to enter your name onto the register. Okay. That is assuming your application is successful. So how much is it? Let's check. So the registration, interestingly, <coughs> sorry, depends on the month you are entered into the register. So if you want to see the details, you can go through this table. January, you see the fees there. February, the fee is there. March up to December, the fee is there. So you can go through that and then you know exactly. So since this is March, so if you entered your name right now into the register, you will pay 517 pounds. Congratulations. Once you have your name onto the register, yay, so you are now a certified dental practitioner in the UK, licensed and ready to practice anywhere, except in the NHS. For NHS, you have to undergo one year of vocational training. Then you can see NHS specialists. But as a dentist generally, you are good to go. So please, who can add for us this total? And we know the true cost of ORE examination and not just the examination, the entire journey until your name is successfully entered onto the GDC register. Please add this for us and then leave your answer in the comment section. Let all of us know how much it actually costs to go through ORE and become a GDC registered dentist in the UK. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next one.